total leadership is already higher, but now more than ever, we need people to step up. Um, the world has been changing very rapidly in the past two years, and it's going to keep changing. We are still in the middle of confusion, uncertainty, a uh, bit of inertia, um, mixed all together with a lot of hope for whatever we can start doing again and, and more freedom opening right now. But all of this is still a big learning, uh, a big lesson for, for the entire humanity. And we need leaders to be able to um, brought everyone through in the best possible way. We need individuals who are ready to claim back their life and really step up in the best version of themselves. Uh, we need um, team managers who are able to bring other people on, on their team all together in the journey in the best possible way. Uh, we need people who maybe uh, are leaders but informal leaders to step up and start influencing even more the world around them. And we need, we need people, we need leaders who are ready to do this work and, and to be the one guiding. And um, true leadership, as I was saying, is really rare. And in this particular time, there is some extra layers of of, um, of thinking that you need to bring beyond leadership. So it's not just going to be the, you know, the typical leadership that you might hear. It's like you need to have a vision. Uh, you need to be um, always giving feedback, assessing performance. You need to empower people. All of this is still true. All of this, you still need to, to add this mindset around leadership, whether it's for, for to lead yourself or to lead others. But um, having told with many clients in the past month, many people who came for, for instance, for coaching sessions or just discussions about how they are doing right now, there are a couple more ingredients that if you are focusing your attention on, you are going to make yourself the leader that the world needs right now. And these ingredients are very simple. The first one is um, embody certainty. As I was mentioning, you need to have a vision as a leader. You need to be the one uh, seeing the future, uh, being able to connect what you are doing right now to what's going to happen in the future. This is this is a basic for leadership and sticking to it, obviously, and making sure that you keep moving forward and, and performing and progressing. This is a basic for any, any type of leadership. But now more than ever, you need to stick to it. You need to constantly communicate on it. You need to constantly make sure that there is no confusion, that that people know exactly where everything is going. And when I when I say exactly there, one thing you really need to pay attention to is are you projecting all the confidence and all the success belief you can possibly in your communication? Um, there's there's still some confusion. There's you know people who are still lost at the moment, people who want to, to move forward. There is so much thing going on and so much movement and so much thing that can potentially open but potentially not open that you need to be the person who is the rock in the room. You need to be the person who is projecting this sense of everything is going to be okay, there is certainty here, we are moving forward, we are doing it with, with full engagement, with full confidence. If you cannot tell me, yes, I've been projecting confidence and success belief in the past, um, past couple of months, or if you want to, to start working on that, really have a thought, how can I be the person that, that creates this sense of safety, this sense of, yes, we, we are moving, yes, we are going somewhere altogether. Now more than ever, that's, that's something that is really, really helpful for people to, to avoid any confusion or any further discouragement. Um, the second thing to do to be the next level leader uh, you can be is raising standards. Um, when, when there is a situation like this where there is inertia, which was basically what, what happened to the world, Inertia means that things are not moving. Things are not moving, no momentum. No momentum, no sense of progress. No sense of progress, no happiness, no chances of success, usually lower confidence and lower expectation um, for people. So you would have seen probably around you people who suddenly, uh, you know, they had goals and they just gave up on it. And they are now just waiting, which is uh, this phase of, I have to, I, I'm waiting for things to happen. I, I don't know how to go back out there because you know what? I've not done things for, for so long now, for the past year or month, that I'm not sure if I'm confident enough to go back out there. Um, you know, it's like there, there's so much doubt that has been put into the mind of people just by simply this, this inertia, this lack of momentum, that you need to be the one who is uh, helping them expect something again from themselves. Sometimes it's just about that. The confidence just comes from, hey, you know what? I'm expecting that tomorrow I'm going to do this thing. I'm expecting that that's the way I'm going to show up. I'm expecting that yes, I can create a better future, I can find another job, whatever it is for that person you are you are leading. Um, be the one who is raising their expectation and their standard of what's possible for them 
again, and just to help them create this sense of motion, create this sense that, that they can start now, again, move, move forward and that they can do it um, as they would have done it before or even at a higher level. And of course, that also means you need to keep um, your standard for yourself high. So you need to be the one role modeling that. You need to be the one having even higher expectations for yourself than what, what you have for others. You need to be the one showing that yes there are things possible and and there are things possible if you know from what you expect from yourself and you keep yourself accountable to to be like this every day and, and to go after your goals every day so be the one raising standards from everyone that's going to help you create motion um, and that's going to really you know that's going to be a gift for the people around you and for yourself as well and the third thing that is very important to to role model this year as well is energy and this is really energy, uh, physical, mental, emotional. One thing that came out on the past two years is how important uh, mental health is, how burnout is, is such a frequent um, thing that happens. And for, for people who have, who have you know, been in the world of leadership before, you probably know that. You probably heard about burnout before and, and you know, mental tiredness and stress and all these things. But it just took a bigger place right now because more people experienced it. And that's going to be a conversation that needs to keep um, to keep on ongoing after after we we get out of this uh, this lack of inertia. And for a lot of people, it has been a roller coaster from you know peaks of you know being very excited or being very afraid or, or being f completely stuck and numb or you know just now being excited because things are reopening. There's been such a roller coaster that everyone has gone. Uh, a bit exhausted in some way, a bit disengaged in some way, uh, maybe re-excited, but it might change if you know if things are not moving fast enough. So your job as a leader here is really to be the one role modeling the energy, to re-energize people, to re-engage them, um, and that means you need to be the one bringing the energy in the room. So you need to be the most energetic person uh, out there uh, as a leader. That that could be something you know you're just like thinking. Okay, yes, I need to show up this way. I need to bring this type of energy, um, and you can you can play around with it depending on the person. Some people will just need you to be a good listener and just give them presence. That could be one way of bringing them energy. Uh, some other people will need you to be excited and super positive and more in the the cheerleading aspect. Um, some people will just will just need you to have the conversation with them to say hey how are you feeling do you do you need a break do you, do you want to take uh, holidays or whatever it is that can help them recharge um, and you being the one pushing for this conversation that are not always easy because a lot of people are not always uh, you know open to say yes i'm tired and i need a break so you can find different ways to role model the energy and obviously it also means that you need to do it for yourself you need to be the one the first person taking care of your physical health or your mental energy or your emotional energy on finding best way to restore through the day so that you can still be at the top level as a leader um, you need to be embodying that you need to be the one having the conversation around self-care around energy on a constant basis on a daily basis so this was my three tips for you today on what i think the world needs right now it needs more certainty more success belief more confidence that that we are moving forward uh, it needs higher standards it needs to really get people to have expectations for themselves again and, and to really uh, recreate some motion there and it also needs more energy and that is something that uh, as a human being you can create you can bring on the table and you will see that's going to make a difference on, on the way you are um, impacting the world this year and the years coming if you are if you are sticking to certainty standard and energy